<laughs> Woohoo! What? A room, bro. All right, we got Greg. We got Greg, Greg here with an awesome game room. He's also, he's also watching, I think, one of the better channels on YouTube. It seems pretty good. I like it. Uh, a little biased, potentially, but uh, we're here, we're in Fort Walton. Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Fort Walton Beach, so we are actually here for really rad weekend. So we're here for the con. Right now, we are not at the con, we are in this game room. Come in here, come in here. Let's check this out. First of all, Greg just hooked me up with this. Guys, BC Bikers. Do you know what era this was? Was this like... I think it's early 90s, right? Early 90s, maybe 90s. late 80s. I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I could be wrong. Um, but he gifted me that. Really, really cool piece. PC Bikers, Dinosaurs of the Chrome Age, new from Street Kids. This game room, how long have you had this room? Let's see, 10 years? 10 years, A little over okay. 10 years, yeah. And you've been collecting for how long? Probably almost 30 years. <laughs> okay, 30 years. It has always been toys or game. I mean, I'm seeing a little bit of everything right now. Mostly toys, I think it all like begun when we pulled the stuff out the attic that we have from kids, okay. and uh, then it just triggered something. It was time to get all that other stuff to complete it, right? Okay, and, I mean, I'm seeing a bunch of amazing things right now. Is there, what are some of the things that you're still like on the hunt for? Is there anything in particular? Well, I am trying to complete the NES set, of course. Okay. I'm at, uh, I believe, 586, so uh, what am Ooh, I like? A, you're getting close. 120, 130 yeah. or something like that. So. Dude, it looks great too. I love how this is displayed. Just one big, huge wall of NES games. So we'll definitely dig into this here in a minute. He likes all things video games. You don't just have retro stuff. You got the PS5 and the Xbox over here just chilling. Are you, all right, are, what are you doing? Are you doing more modern gaming? Or are you doing more modern? Yeah. Are you now that yeah. more just collecting? Is that, is that kind of? Yeah, well, when I play my retro now, it's on my handhelds for okay. the most part. So, yeah. yeah. I get it, I get it. All right, so over here we have your Amiibos. You know, I've never been like the biggest Amiibo guy. I think they're cool, but like, I just could tell this is gonna be crazy. Like there's so many of them. Do you just have ones that you like or what's, what's kind of your theory behind collecting those? So I really just got into them because of Zelda. Like clicking oh. those each day and getting the chest, getting the weapons, getting the food. And I use them every day on that. So that was the biggest reason. And yeah, just getting ones that I kind of like to, you That's know, cool. games that I enjoy or whatever, ones Heck that yeah. look rad. So um, probably one of the times I got most roasted on the internet was I did a sponsorship. What was that for? Was it for the same thing? Was it for? Fame Home? And it was for Knight Rider. And it, basically they give you pieces of, of the car to put together. This was before my time. Like I was born in 87, so okay. it's like it was before my time. Right. And I'm like, all right, everybody. Today's sponsor is the Knight Rider, the KITT car. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but let's talk about these games down here. We have a bunch of SNES, uh, so I'm seeing SNES and then modern. Mm -hmm. So no like 64, or was that not your era? Where, you know. Uh, I actually just sold on my 64 to get more NES. Okay. Yeah. You know, and then I got some game boys hidden as well. Whoa, yeah he does. Uh, see this, this is the only hard part about Game Boy games. It's like, it's so hard to display, to, like, display it. Yeah, it's sure. so tough, it's so no. tough. So um, on SNES, which kind of your go-to game? Favorite game on SNES? Uh, R-Type. Super R-Type from Irem for Super NES. See how good you really are. So is anything in here for sale? For sure. <laughs> I didn't know I expected to say that. What, what's like not for sale? That's probably the biggest Probably thing. not NES. Okay. Besides that, we probably could make a deal. Why would you want to sell like, Super Nintendo stuff? Why would you be okay with that? It's, I'm just more, yeah. more NES than anything. Yeah. So most requested on the channel, when I go to flea markets, thrift stores, toy stores, people are like, if you pass over the G1 Transformers, I'm going to lose it. Guys, again, just a little before my time, it was like, I think 82 to 86 was kind of like prime. 86, 86 was like really prime. Really when I started, yeah. And absolutely. it just, I'm the oldest child, so like anything for me that was even pre my time, I didn't really get into. So tell the people a little bit about some Transformers stuff. You're more educated, Greg knows more, more than me. Like talk me through a couple pieces that are a little bit more um, noteworthy, probably. Skylinks is always like a notable, yeah, noteworthy one, worthy one. This is no, their vehicle yeah. that they would all like be transported in. Okay. It's pretty rad. Yeah. My favorites though, as a kid, were always the combiners. The ones oh, where yeah. they were five different animals or five yeah. different beasts, five different cars. We have, a couple, we, have a, we have a couple of those in the shop. 
So that's, oh, I think I, is that Predicate? Predaking. Predaking, oh! Almost, almost had it. so bad, I'm so bad. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites would be Predaking, but we, I think. We had that come into the store, yeah. and I had a guy, he was like, he saw, he's like, I've been looking for that specific one for so long. Save me so, that, right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, anything else notable in here? Um, my Constructor Cons are probably my favorite. I've got a couple of your different color options up there. They did it in the green and the yellow. There's a rare orange one out there that okay. I don't have. I think I have in a box somewhere, like two of the pieces for it. Wow. So I want to see this case, which first of all, look at this thing glow. Where's the Toxics? The Toxies? Gotcha. Look at these glowing. What? It's a killer display. Where'd you get the display at? Uh, from a retail that was going out of business. They had watches in it. Yeah. All right, well, here, open that thing up for me. Show me just a couple of things that you just like love out of this specific case. Is there anything in particular that I like, dude, this thing is, oh, well, I love that. Look at that. Frankenstein, Darkwing. the, the oh, Frankenstein Frank. uh, turt. I Got love some that. Shark snack, some uh, okay. shrimp sharks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, a cool one would be these, uh, the pocket uh, power. That was actually made by Sega. Um, these are really cool. They would. This would be an action where you would pull the chain, okay, and the, the helicopter would fly uh, out of the tape here. That's amazing. The other one would be. I, uh, I've never seen that before. A race car, and you would uh, knock it off of the tape and hit the the cones okay. down. Very, very cool. And again, by Sega, just a rad find. Yeah, that's awesome. Power that packs in your pockets. Pocket power, ten dynamite kind, new from Tyco. Definitely utilizing the space in here like beautifully man there's so many great things in here i mean literally there's everything there's like is that last uh, action, last hero? action hero yep. and then street sharks and then you got uh power rangers like i i think you said earlier you're like oh, it kind of gives me anxiety i kind of love the crazy chaos of it man i think it looks so good yeah then down here just all these rad uh wrestlers all up there you got the the Hulk Mania. Oh Might be gosh. the old talking ones, I think 93. Dude, excellent display, bro. I love these. The Flintstones kids! The Flintstones kids! I just always see the, the dang glasses, never see any of the uh, actual figures. You did a great job with these. I love it. Okay, now we're on to NES. You said you're at five what? 568, I believe. 568. Yep. A little over 100 off. Favorite NES game? Gun Neck. Gun Neck. I Gun just neck. actually recently put Amazing this. game. Dude, you are a real, like, shooter guy. Yeah, for sure. Um, he did say down here, I just randomly saw it down here. This is awesome. I love me some boxed, old school, you know, accessories and things like this. You said this was actually potentially for sale? For sure, absolutely. Well, what's like funny it. about it is there's actually, you said there's pictures of there's the pictures convention of runners. There is, yeah. Sam and Joe are on this. They are. That's Etched amazing. for life. <laughs> uh, what do you have on this guy? Do you have any idea? Uh, 80 bucks. 80 dollars? I have no idea, but deal. I think that's great. <laughs> I just think it's awesome, and he's so graciously letting, letting us hang out in his room, so that's awesome. And he has the uh, Kleenex Mario little, uh, Next box. So that's cool. Never seen that before. Uh, I'm learning something new right now. I've never heard of Shrinky Dinks. Sh Shrinky Dinks. <laughs> you explain the process again. So it would come on like like a full colored sheet, and you would color them. Well, I okay. believe with just crayon or or some sort of marker, and then stick it in the oven that they would provide, and they would shrink down to size. Shrinky Dinks. I I, I have never. That is awesome. <laughs> I love I love Shrinky Dinks now. Uh, Battle Beasts all in here. You, big South Park fan I too. I love South Park oh, as well. A lot of South Park yeah. stuff. Dukes of Hazard. I mean, dude, just like, is it like just anything that you grew up with? I yeah, feel like for you sure. just like so many it's different all over eclectic things. No, it's, I love it. It started with Transformers and it's kind of gone everywhere. Yeah. yeah. This is cool. Moving on over to this huge case. Uh, can you get bigger toy? Like, can you imagine being like a four year old, a five year old, and getting a toy that's as tall as you? Like those things are freaking Absolutely. Huge. So that one's actually vintage. This is, I believe, it's either, I don't think that was 86. That might've been 87. Okay. It's either 87, 88, but that's that's a G1. The other two massive ones are 2010, I think. Okay. Centurions, you familiar with those? Oh yeah. Those are rad. I have, the only thing I have from this is I have a board, I have a board game. Okay. I have yeah, the board I've game that of that. Before. So, yeah. dude, it looks great. I mean, it's a small but mighty room. Like it is packed in. I'm always trying to like kind of encourage people that have they want a game room, right. or they don't, like, I don't have no way of making a game room. I have a friend that made a closet a game room. For sure. And it's all, I don't I mean, use an NES attic. Space, so. He made, yeah, and this is this is a, a small room, but it feels 
it feels like spacious, but still so much stuff in here. And there's still some space to put a couple more things. Not like, not a ton, but, <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's great, man. I appreciate you showing us. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's all the stuff that I love too. Games and toys. It's awesome, bro. Guys, Greg just starts pulling out crap. And he's like, what about this? What about this Jordan shirt? I'm like, yes, that's freaking awesome from the 90s. This is a six foot inflatable tiger. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger, man. And 64 AM FM radio. I love Greg's house. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome.